You know, <clears throat> you know when you're on the Australian airline, don't you? Because it keeps on whining when they've turned the engines off. <laughs> oh, yes, you can always tell an Australian. They've got chips on both shoulders. Boing, boing. Next question, please. We don't think Ken Morley will be volunteering to join celebrities in the Australian jungle anytime soon. That was the actor and comedian's response to being asked whether he would take part in a reality program when we spoke to him ahead of his appearance in Panto at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre. Better known for his role as aspiring ladies' man Reg Holdsworth in Coronation Street, he spoke of the sadness he felt when hearing of the recent death of Bill Tarmy, who played Jack Duckworth. Very sad, you know, it wasn't all that old, really, by today's standards. But having said that, <clears throat> if I had to go, then I'd like to go the way he did. Because if you can go to bed and not get up, that's all right. You know, rather than spending years uh, being ill and suffering and all the rest of it. But he's a great loss, but he was a good, good lad. Wonderful singer, by the way. And his character was so good. I mean, you know, beloved, really, Jack Duckworth and Vera. They were a great comedy duo. And there were some very good comedy duos in, uh, duos in Granada, but he was uh, one of the best ever in its long history. Asked to whether he prefers stage to television. The thing about stage is you, you know when the audience are enjoying it because there's a, that rapport between you and them. And, um, I mean, the last time I was here in this wonderful town, the, the audience were with me all the way, right up to the railway station, some of them. Ken plays King Crumble in Jack and the Beanstalk, a part he's really looking forward to playing. But uh, basically I'm, I'm uh, you know, a uh, straightforward, simple monarch who's lost the plot, really. And, uh, but the real villain of the piece, of course, is the giant who represents, in this case, the City of London and those thieving scum who've run off with our money. That's all I have to say about the matter. That giant must die. Must die. The comedian caused a stir when he featured in popular TV show Come Dine With Me, joining other Coronation Street cast. The end piece in which Julie insisted that we dress as women and then flogged us all for being bad whilst we ate our chocolates, I thought was very good. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was good fun and everybody said, oh, what a change. You know, well, it was a great life and uh, I thought it was a good show, actually, to be honest. What will you ever be doing to fill your time when you're not on stage in Wolverhampton? What will you be doing? I shall be, um, actually, uh, a long time ago, some of my um, grandparents came from this area, from a, a really very sophisticated area just outside of Wolverhampton called Tipton. Excuse me. Yes, from Tipton we were. But then they migrated north to Lancashire, where they've been very happy ever since. And uh, so it's a pleasure for me to come back to this neck of the woods. Will you be going yeah. to Tipton? I will indeed be going to Tipton to ride the hundreds of horses which apparently run through the streets night and day, accompanied by hundreds of gypsies and near the wells and the local inhabitants. And we didn't have to persuade him to show off his black country roots. Yeah, I'm okay. I don't know where I am anymore, man. What day is it? This crown's a bit tight, you know. I can feel my eyes coming out of my head. <laughs> How are you doing now?